the Netherlands and I'm a journalist. And the reason for visiting the catacombs is because I'm very spiritual and uh, I've studied witchcraft in the, back in the Netherlands. And I wanted to know what kind of energy I got from this place because I visit many cemeteries. I visit the Kutna Hora in Prague, which is also a bone church. So yeah, I studied witchcraft and I was very curious about the energy that was here. Uh, and uh, the moment I got into I think it was the, which hall was it where I got really angry? It was, I think it was at the entrance. I started to feel like a bit the uh, entrance. I said, oh, are you now entering the shadow world? I was like, okay. And then we walked and then all of a sudden I saw you. <laughs> and I felt this uncommon rage that's not, that has not been happening before because I couldn't really control it. So I got mad at everyone and everything. And I felt like a lot of anger and I don't, I don't know why. And then my back started to hurt because there's a lot of energy here and it's all, it's not just not very positive energy. It's just sad and anger and confusion mostly. At least that's what I feel. There was a guy that got lost because he became intoxicated. He had to get something from the, the catacombs and uh, because it's it's like 1,800 meters or 900 meters, uh, yeah, he got lost. So then he died. They, his body was never found, but a camera was found, however, with footage on on it. Him like screaming for help, but no one like could hear him because you know he's on the ground. So then he passed away, and that's actually the inspiration of the movie as a ball so glow, the horror film about people getting lost in the catacombs. They found a cinema, a restaurant, uh, all hidden, like illegal, in the in the catacombs. And the moment the police went to, they the police saw it. They got back with backup. And then when they arrived, they everything was gone, and there was just one note that said, uh, "Do not search." I mean, I can definitely feel that there are multiple. I mean, that's why my back is hurting, because all the energy, it's, there's just so much energy here, and it just all, like, wants to get in contact. I, I'm a medium as well. I did, like, a medium course for a few months, so when you're very sensitive to that, they come to you and they latch on to you. Imagine, like, there are so many bodies here. How can you not expect there to be any energy? It doesn't, doesn't make sense if there wouldn't be any energy. And I mean, I got mad. You saw me getting mad. Yeah, you weren't you. I wasn't myself, right? No, yeah, you're usually way more chill. Yeah, I'm normally really chill, but I was like... I would focus and I would make contact with the, my spiritual guides with my feet. And then I would... I, I'm sort of protected right now by some ball of light. But when I unleash it, then they'll come to me on multiple occasions. Um, something took me over, like something possessed me, sort of. And there was this one point that I got, someone took, someone climbed into my body and then later it escaped and it went to another guy who then attacked me. Yeah, I even had to go to court because of it. It's actually really scary right now because I sort of, because we're talking about it, it's sort of, I feel my ears starting to pop, so that means there's something that wants my attention.